Hi everyone, it's Tammy and it's Sunday. I have another a sale. It will be three bags for $25 again and then I have some pieces that were higher end that I lowered. Um, so we'll get started. I'm going to make this a two-part video because it's going to be too long. And uh, we'll get started. Bridget's giving me a hand here. So we've gotten everything together. And please go by the numbers so it's easier for me to uh, go through the bags. And then I will write down in a book what numbers have sold, so that way if you contact me, I can tell you right away whether that bag is available or not. Okay, well, this Number is bag one. one. Okay, yep. okay, this is bag one. This is the um, adjustable uh, gold tone ring. This will not tarnish. Um, let's see. I would say this is a size 7, because that's the size I take on this finger. I do have my... Um, uh, what do you call them? I do have the um, things like this there to tell the size of your fingers. And uh, this, so this is a size 7. And again, they were made in the old days to be adjustable because you paid so much for your jewelry. And if the women gained weight or lost weight, they were able to still wear their fine jewelry. So this one here has like a band in it that can um, either make your, it can you can go smaller or then it, pushes so that you can go wider, like on a size 8 or something. Okay, bag 2 is a gold tone necklace. It is the clasp like this. It has the um, pink um, pearls, faux pearls. That's bag number 2. Okay. Bag number three is, I believe this is a Avon piece. This is what it looks like. It has all the stones, and this one is also a size seven. Okay, what bag are we on for? Yep. Okay, so bag four, I have the um, vintage, this is quite old, vintage necklace, and it has the really pretty flowers, and Inside the flowers, it has the rhinestones. And that's what it looks like. That's what the back of it looks like. It's very well made. And that's a very nice piece to be in the sale. Okay, bag number five. Um, bag number five, I'm putting this in. Um, it has the turquoise stone again. I think the turquoise stone is real. <clears throat> that's what the back looks like. And it does look to be sterling silver. It just doesn't have the marking on it. And that's what that one looks like. And the white that you're seeing here was the white enamel paint that they put on it. So this is a definitely a vintage piece. Okay, bag what? Six. Bag number six. This is a beautiful glass, um, glass beads here. These large glass beads. This is what they look like. I'm going to go close so that you can get a really good view. And this is a layered piece, and it has the clasp like this, and the chain. Baby. Okay, seven. bag number seven is really pretty. Um, this is adjustable. Black ring. This is nice. I like that. That's what that one looks like. It's very pretty. Okay, bag number eight. Um, these are the um, vintage, uh, these are just like a, a light blue and it's got some colors. It almost is like a turquoise and it has the uh, twist clamp. And that's what that one looks like. Bag nine. Bag nine is the marked These are the marked Avon earrings. They're, they're gorgeous. The luster in that per, that that black stone is beautiful. They, they make a really nice earring. I'll just show you. And these are definitely vintage because they're the clip. Bag 10, I have another pair of uh, vintage gold tone earrings. These also have a beautiful black stone in them with the little black um, dangly uh, pearls here. 
or beads rather, and they have the uh, hook clasp or hook earring. They're a hook earring. That's what I'm trying to say. It's hard to try and um, tell you everything about them. <laughs> I've got so many pieces. Okay, these are um, clip, and they are nice. Uh, nice. Um, they're not heavy. This is bag 11. Okay, this is bag 11, and it has the um, Cupid's bow. And that's what they look like. They're very pretty with a nice gold necklace. Bag 12. This is bag 12. This is a red um, beaded necklace. It is also vintage, and it has like the three strands, but they're, they're um, twisted, and it's a nice pretty... Christmas red. And it's all beaded. 13. I'm putting this in. This is the beautiful, um, it's a pin, but it can also, like I said, there's two ways to, you can put your gold uh, chain through there or your gold chain through there. And this is gorgeous, you guys. These go for a lot of money. Um, it's all enamel painted, it has all the stones, and it's in excellent condition. These would go beautiful with those uh, earrings uh, someone bought anyway for me. I can't remember, but um, they had the same enamel and the same uh, look as these. this did. 14. This is bag 14. This is a vintage. This is very old. This is a vintage peacock, I believe, pin. And that's what he looks like. Okay, what bag next? Bag 15. Bag 15. This piece is going in there, you guys. This is this is worth a good amount of money. And again, this is the uh, Lucite, and it has the beautiful uh, gold confetti flex in there. This is what the back looks like. It's very, very well made. You can see how well put together it is. And it does have the... Uh, the shepherd clasp and again it is vintage definitely vintage I would say probably the 1940s 16. bag 16 this is gorgeous this is a beautiful bracelet it's got gorgeous luster to it it's not going to tarnish um, I would say this is for a smaller wrist um, let me measure it for you quickly well it's a seven um, and this one here is the, uh, 18 karat gold plate. And it is beautiful. Okay, bag 17. I have the leather strap necklace with the really nice, um, vintage, um, pendant. It has the rhinestones in it. And it's all done in enamel, and it's like a gray and black, and that's what the back looks like. This would look really nice with a nice pair of silver earrings paired with it. Bag 18. These are gorgeous, you guys. I don't know why nobody's jumping on these. They're beautiful. They have all the stones. They're vintage, definitely. You can tell by the work. Okay. Bag 19. Okay, this is the um, very old locket. And it has the angel and uh, angel here and the snowman here. It has the stones. Again, I don't know if they're real or not. We have a green and red stone. And it's, also, it's a pin, but you can make it into a, a necklace. Let me open it. I have no nails. There we go. That's what the inside looks like. Put a cute little Christmas pic picture in there. Okay, bag 20. Um, I'm, <laughs> I, <laughs> there are some pieces I'm including in here, guys, that are expensive pieces that I'm just I'm putting in there for the 3 for 25. Um, I want to move them. I want Again, I want them to find homes. This isn't about making a ton of money. I just want these guys to find homes. They're beautiful. These pieces need to, to continue on. And they have all the stones. They have all the original little pearls that are at the end of each of the stones. Uh, it's a leaf 
necklace. Again, it's very well made. It's a beautiful piece, and it has the extender at the back, and it has the um, shepherd's clasp. This is an old piece. 21. 21, I have this one. This one's beautiful as well. The stones, if it was sunny out right now, which it's not, you would see how beautiful these stones are, or these beads, rather. You guys know what I mean. And that has uh, three strands. 22. Bag 22. This one's really pretty. I've showed it before. It has the, um, this is like a gray or a dark purple, and this is like a lavender. Then you have all those really nice gold accent beads in between. And it's really pretty. You can double that up. And again, if you've got this, if you've got gold in there for the um, beads, just use a gold earring. That's all you need to do to make that a really pretty set. 23. Bag 23. These are really cute. These are vintage earrings. They're the nice long black. I don't know if you can see that. There we go. The nice long black ones with the beads. And that's what that looks like. 24. Bag 24. These are glass beads. This is marked um, Hong Kong. This is vintage. This is the color. Look at the stones. How beautiful that is. That's all been painted in, in the enamel paint. It's gorgeous. 25. Bag 25. This one's really pretty. Look at the nice blue. It's like a, it's like a, a nice soft um, ocean blue. And then it has those beads and then it goes to the bottom here and it has um, this type of uh, bead in it. A nice flat accent in between there. 26. Bag 26. This is really old, you guys. This is gorgeous. That's the stones that are in it. It has that nice... Um, is it navy blue? No. Royal blue. And then the, the big royal blue. And then look at the nice uh, bead right there. Those almost look like fake light, but I'm not about to burn them to try it. 27. Bag 27. This is a really nice piece. This is one, two, three, four. You've got four strands of the, the black beads, and then you have this beautiful... Um, again, I don't know what the name of that is. I forget. It's beautiful. It's very soft. The back is very soft. It lays very nicely on the neck. That's a gorgeous, gorgeous 27, piece. 27, right? 27, right? Yeah. I think so. 27. Yeah. Bag 28. I have, um, the little heart. Again, that's from the, um, Oh, make a wish foundation for the kids with cancer. It has the little hand on it. You can collect, uh, these are collectibles. Um, and again, it's a pin, but if you want to even put a, a necklace through it, you can make it go sideways on you. It's cute. I was thinking of collecting them because I've seen them online and they have some beautiful um, designs. Yeah. Okay, this is the gorgeous. This is beautiful, guys. You should feel this. It is the, uh, the moon pin gold and it's just it's made so beautifully it's a, it's a nice heavy pin and this will last you a lifetime that was bag 29 by the way yeah bag 29 bag 30 i have the sweater uh or rather the um scarf clip and this again is the heron and that's what he looks like this is on a really nice uh, pewter. This is pewter. It's beautiful. And it is vintage. Bag 31. Yep. Bag 31. I have the, this cute little crystal that can be put on um, a gold necklace because it has the gold uh, loop here. Well, it's not a loop, but you know what I mean. That's what that looks like. Don't mind my fingernails again. I didn't get a chance to go out today. But that's what that looks like. Okay, and then I have 
This is gorgeous, you guys. How come nobody's picking this up? This would be size 8. It's got that gorgeous purple stone in it. This is vintage. And again, I would say 1950s, 1940s. It's beautiful. That was bag 32, by the way. Yeah, bag 32. 33. Bag 33, again, this is a, a marked piece. Let me see with my... I don't have my eyeglass. I believe it's Vendôme. This is a gorgeous yeah. pin. And again, you can make this into a necklace. Yeah, I know my jewelry girls. This is Vendôme. I'm going to turn that light on. Let's see if that helps. That's what that piece looks like. It's a nice heavy piece, very well made. And there's your maker right there. Cool. Okay. Bag 34. This is the um, adjustable size 8. This is all done in enamel. It's beautif beautifully done. And that's, that's not going anywhere, you guys. That's not coming off. Bag 35. This is the gorgeous um, butterfly with all of the nice... Um, uh, rhinestones in it. Nothing missing in there. Beautiful. It's a nice long chain. And again, this one is adjustable. It's it's beautiful, guys. Come on. Get some Christmas gifts. 36. This is bag 36. This is the, it has a beautiful, beautiful soft chain on it. This would be the 1960s, I believe. And that's what that one looks like. It's got the yellow, soft yellow, and then it has the gold in between it. Very pretty. Now that was 36, so do you want to make the second part? That's the other half. Yeah, okay. Uh, so what we're going to do, I'm going to start another video, and we'll continue on from bag 36, so we'll be 37. I'll talk to you in a minute.